Now it's a quarter century, 25 years ago, we started a business with the lithium-ion battery. Today, I invite you to dive into the world of this groundbreaking technology. It represents not just power, but also your freedom to travel. What I'm about to share with you has left car companies around the world speechless. Imagine pulling up to charge your electric car, and it charges as fast as filling up a gas tank. Sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie, right? Well, hold on, because the brilliant minds in Seattle at the world's largest battery manufacturer have made it happen. While giants like Tesla, Toyota, and QuantumScape were pouring billions into solid-state batteries, engineers in Seattle were working on something that has truly transformed cars. And believe me, what they've done isn't just a small upgrade. It's a major shift in how we store energy. This breakthrough is going to shake up everything, from the smartphone in your hand to the massive power grids that keep our world running. So stay tuned. Before we go further, subscribe to the channel so you can be the first to hear about the latest in technology. The race for battery supremacy has been an intense chess match, with the world's top innovators facing off. Every move matters in this high-stakes game, and big players like Tesla and Toyota have been pouring resources into solid-state technology in the hope of dominating the market. But in Seattle, they've completely rewritten the rules. Let's take a fun spin through the world of electric vehicle, EV batteries. Picture this. By 2027, the global EV battery market is expected to hit a whopping $135 billion, growing at a rapid 25% every year. It's like a massive playground where companies are racing to be the coolest kid on the block. Tesla is aiming for a super-powered solid-state battery with 400 watt-hours per kilogram, while Toyota is shooting for an even bigger 500. But hold up, CATL, which already owns 36.7% of the market, has been secretly developing something even more mind-blowing. For a while, everyone thought solid-state batteries were the future. They promised more power and better safety. No more worrying about overheating or fires like with older liquid-based batteries. But they weren't perfect. Seattle saw a chance to leapfrog those hurdles with a completely fresh idea. To understand why this is such a big deal, let's break down how batteries work in a simple way. Imagine a battery as a tiny bustling city with three key neighborhoods, the anode, the cathode, and the electrolyte. The anode is like the exit gate where energy flows out when you're using your device or vehicle. The cathode is the welcome gate where energy flows back in during recharging. The electrolyte is the busy highway that shuttles lithium ions between the two, keeping everything running smoothly. Together, they store and release power for everything from your phone to your electric car. Everyone used to think solid-state batteries, with their solid highways instead of liquid ones, were the ultimate upgrade. They promised fewer fire risks and more energy storage. But while the big names were focused on perfecting that vision, Seattle's team was dreaming up an entirely new path, one that might leave solid-state batteries in the dust. In traditional lithium-ion batteries, there's a liquid electrolyte that allows lithium ions to move between the anode and cathode. It works, but it's risky. Think overheating or even fires if things go wrong. Solid-state batteries tried to fix this by replacing the liquid with a solid electrolyte, which promised more safety and power. Sounds great, right? Well, not so fast. Solid-state batteries introduced their own set of problems. Their big advantage was the use of lithium metal anodes, which are lightweight, can handle higher voltages, and pack in a huge number of lithium ions. But recent studies show that solid electrolytes don't always stop dendrites, tiny spiky growths that can cause short circuits or fires. And with lithium metal being extremely reactive, those dendrites grow fast, creating serious problems. Now here's where things get exciting. Seattle's new condensed battery doesn't just tweak the electrolyte, it reinvents the entire battery from the ground up. The secret? Two innovative features, a 3D honeycomb anode and a biomimetic electrolyte interface. Let's break it down. First, the 3D honeycomb anode. Imagine a beehive full of hexagonal cells where lithium ions can rest. This structure gives the anode much more surface area, allowing lithium ions to move in and out quickly. Plus, the honeycomb design allows the anode to stretch and flex during charging, which reduces wear and tear at a microscopic level. 
We're talking about channels just 20 nanometers wide. 4,000 of them could fit across a single human hair. Anodes were stuck at a measly 200 milliamp hours of capacity. Think of it like trying to fill a tin. Seattle's breakthroughs don't stop with the anode and electrolyte. They've got the cathode in on the action too. That's the final piece of the battery puzzle. While they're keeping some details under wraps, it's a safe bet they're using ultra high energy cathodes like the ones used in long range electric cars. These cathodes are key to reaching the insane energy levels Seattle is promising. Traditional cathodes, the power storing part of a battery, usually hold about 250 watt hours per kilogram. That's decent, but it limits how much energy a battery can store. Seattle's new cathodes kick that up to 350 watt hours per kilogram, a 40% jump. More energy means your electric car can go farther and charge faster. Pretty awesome, right? Now picture this, an electric vehicle that can cruise 620 miles on one charge and juice up in just minutes. That's not some far off fantasy. Seattle's condensed battery is making it happen with massive energy storage, better safety and long-term savings. And this tech could shake up way more than just EVs. Think renewable energy storage, or even electric planes taking off. Before this breakthrough, EV drivers were stuck worrying about range anxiety, wondering, will I make it home? And waiting ages to recharge. But Seattle's condensed battery could wipe those worries away. EVs using this tech could finally match gas-powered cars for performance and convenience, making the switch to electric feel like a no-brainer. Take the average commuter driving 31 miles to work each day. With a regular EV, they might worry about running out of juice. But with Seattle's battery, they could do that trip back and forth multiple times on one charge with power to spare. And it doesn't stop there. This tech could totally transform renewable energy too. Imagine solar panels and wind turbines storing their energy so efficiently that you've got reliable power even when it's dark or still outside. That's a game changer for a cleaner, greener world. Seattle's breakthroughs don't stop with the anode and electrolyte. They've got the cathode in on the action too. That's the final piece of the battery puzzle. While they're keeping some details under wraps, it's a safe bet they're using ultra high energy cathodes like the ones used in long range electric cars. These cathodes are key to reaching the insane energy levels Seattle is promising. Traditional cathodes, the power storing part of a battery usually hold about 250 watt hours per kilogram. That's decent, but it limits how much energy a battery can store. Seattle's new cathodes kick that up to 350 watt hours per kilogram, a 40% jump. More energy means your electric car can go farther and charge faster. 